I, I think the biggest thing I'm finding right now is, um, especially having interviewed some of my clients who um, were married more recently, their advice um, is basically just to enjoy it. Hi, I'm John from PGP Wedding Films, and welcome to Say Yes to the Best, where we talk to you the best wedding pros to give you wedding planning advice. Check us out on Instagram and follow us on YouTube. We have new content out all the time to help you with your wedding planning. Today, I am talking with one of my all-time absolute, not just favorite wedding photographers, but just favorite wedding people, Lydia Joy of Lydia Joy Photography. And today, we're not going to talk exactly about her photography. She has started a podcast called So Tell Me Your Love Story. Uh, which is absolutely amazing. You should all check it out because if you're here, you probably are getting married and love love and it's incredibly good. So Lydia, thank you for being on the show again. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to talk about this podcast. Cool. So can you tell me the motivation for you behind starting the podcast? Yeah. So um, about a year ago, I was driving on the road listening to a podcast that had nothing to do with like love, but it was pretty much um, just like people talking back and forth and kind of just telling their story in general. And I had this light bulb moment because I was really struggling with, um, I have all these clients, I adore my clients and I love telling their story with their engagement photos and their wedding photos. But when I would sit down to type a caption or type out their blog, I felt like I was struggling to tell their story, their entire story. Well, visually I was doing it, but I didn't have the words to really tell who they were. Um, and so I was like, what if I had a way to hand them the mic? and let them tell the story themselves. So um, I kind of was like, I want to start a podcast, but I, I wanted to start a podcast that served my clients um, along with my photography. So that was my motivation behind it. Well, I, I think, you know, the, I listened to your first episode and I sent you a text because I was amazed at how professional you sounded because I've been doing these videos for a while and I still think I sound like an idiot. But you sounded like every podcast, like I listen to plenty of podcasts. Granted, they're more about like either business or the Phillies. But I, I was just shocked. Like you sound like you've been doing it for a thousand years. She has new episodes out every other Friday. So you definitely want to check it out everywhere podcasts can be heard. All the information will be down below. Who exactly do you think uh, would just love this podcast? I mean, I think anyone who just like likes hearing a real genuine story. Um, at this point, I have been interviewing some of my clients. So it was past clients to start because we already had a really good relationship. And I was like, listen, I'm new to this. If I screw this up, you got my back. Um, but the purpose going forward is to, I want it to be a really healthy mixture of my clients kind of before we go into their wedding day so that by the time we show up, like we're besties and I know so much about their story, like the beginning, beginning to just lead up to why I'm capturing their wedding day. But then I also want to include um, some other stories too of people who've been married 30, 40, 50 years um, because newlywed love is great, but I want to hear about, you know, some tried and true, been through a lot love as well. So I, I think it's really for anyone who just loves hearing like stories. It's not even just like, oh, I love love. Like you don't have to be a Nicholas Sparks junkie to enjoy hearing people's life. So what's been the most challenging part of starting a podcast and learning how to, to make it work? Honestly, for me, it was just getting over the fear of of it, I was like, what if no one wants to listen to someone's love story? Like, I don't know. Um, and then it was, I don't know, I guess the logistics of it because I am not a tech person. I don't know how to edit things. I wanted it to sound very conversational um, and not choppy, but I also know that I'm a talker. So when I record an hour and a half podcast, I don't, I don't want people to have to listen to an hour and a half. I want them to listen to like 30, 40 minutes. So it was getting to the point where I found my perfect editor and she's incredible. And she kind of gives you that final production. So it sounds very seamless, um, but a lot of work goes into it. So for me, it was just finding a way that my podcast served my clients, but didn't take me away from my business that I was already running. So you mentioned that you kind of started off with working with your past clients. Uh, what are some ways that you've been kind of trying to reach out and find more people to have on the podcast? Well, it's funny is for the past year, I have really adjusted the way that I do my 
what my meetings with potential clients and I haven't been asking their love story, which is something I always did, but it's pushed me to um, actually handle those meetings differently in general. So I don't ask them their love story. I, I did. I haven't told them why for a year, which was really hard. Now when I get on a meeting with a potential bride, I'm like, this is why I'm not going to ask you. Um, but anyway, it's been kind of like building that. But as far as right now finding people, um, I'm just kind of reaching out to my clients who I think would just enjoy it. Um, and it's not for everybody. Not everybody feels comfortable getting on and telling their story, but then also reaching out to other vendors, other people who are working with current people who are getting married or have gotten married in the past and, um, kind of just reaching out to people who I trust, um, who might know a couple who would be perfect for the podcast as well. What has been the coolest part of doing the podcast so far for you? Okay. So the coolest thing for me, um, is being able to see my past clients, come together and get to know each other, which I never expected out of it. Um, just the other day on my Instagram, I saw the, you know, Taylor from episode one and Leanne from episode three, um, chatting about Leanne's, you know, bouquet and how it was a winter wonderland. And she's like, that's exactly what I was going for. And I was like, this is so cool because my clients all mean so much to me. Um, but they don't know each other. I know them and they're only common denominator is me, but this podcast is causing my clients to get to know my other clients better. And they're kind of connecting over that, which has been the coolest thing to watch. So I never expected it, but that's been my favorite part so far is just getting the people that matter to me. Now they're getting to know each other too. This show is kind of geared around helping people who are engaged kind of navigate wedding planning. And as you mentioned, it's all people who have worked with you. So uh, they're either in the process of getting married or they are married or in the future, people who've been married for a long time. What sort of nuggets do you think uh, an engaged couple who listens to your podcast could kind of get out of it to kind of help them with their wedding planning or make their wedding a success? I, I think the biggest thing I'm finding right now is, um, especially having interviewed some of my clients who um, were married more recently, their advice um, is basically just to enjoy it to its fullest because the day goes by really quickly and then not in a negative way. They, they love their wedding day. They feel so complete and just happy and full of joy afterwards. But I think that they are just like evidence that it goes quickly. And so just to enjoy every moment and, um, also to, I mean, maybe this is like a cheesy plug, but just like to find photographers and videographers who capture it really well because at the end of it they're not just like you know toot my horn they the photos mean everything to them um having those moments to look back on and remember mean a lot to them so i think that's the biggest advice especially with everything we're going through right now with i mean covid having their love be the center of it all is kind of the theme that's going forward even though covid didn't affect their wedding it's it's so like prevalent now. So do you have any uh, notable episodes coming up that you really can't wait to, to get out to the public? Yeah. So two that I'm really excited about, um, I did a date night session. It's actually the couple that birthed the term date night session for my business. Um, we went to Fishtown in Philadelphia and we went record shopping and we had cheesesteaks and just like hung out at all the cool murals. And it was so much fun. We even went to Acme and they rode around in the shopping cart, which in today's world wouldn't happen, but it was cool back then. And the whole purpose of it was not to be um, cheesy just for the sake of being cheesy, but this is where their life is right now. They live in Fishtown. They shop at an Acme that's on top of a building. Like that, it was showing that part of their life. So so they're really awesome. They're coming up. And then I have my first two part episode coming up, which is awesome. So they're one of my like OG couples. <laughs> they're like, I think the second or third wedding I ever shot. I've known Brad and Sophie now for 10. We were talking about like 10 or 12 years. We felt really old when we said that. And we're not that old, but that's a long time. So they are my first two part episode. Awesome. Well, Lydia, thank you so much for being a part of the show. Yeah, absolutely. It was awesome. I, I love talking about this because I'm excited for couples to be able to tell their love story to more people, so. And seriously, uh, you have to check out her podcast. So tell me your love story. All the information is below. Obviously, Lydia's like my favorite, but it's just a really, really great listen. She has new episodes out every other Friday, so you definitely wanna check it out. Everywhere podcasts can be heard. Thank you for watching Say Yes to the Best. Please follow us on Instagram and subscribe on YouTube. We have new stuff out all the time. It's all about helping you navigate your wedding planning and having a successful wedding. Thank you again and happy planning. <music>